Greetings, Coach. Andy Ryan with USA Football and some of our behind the scenes Miami Dolphins OTA film work. Today we're going to look at the running back position and specifically the pass protection for the running back. We're going to look at a two drill series, how they introduce some pass blocking skills to their running backs. The first drill is going to be a simple punch drill. We're going to line up a running back in a great athletic stance with two defensive players on either side of them. This means we're going to be able to work side to side, get multiple punches, and get some rotation and some body motion into our power. On the coach's command, the running back is going to punch once to the right, once to the left, and repeat going back and forth. All of his punch fundamentals should remain the same. Thumbs up, elbows in, nice strong punch, and as you watch this drill, you'll see that they're really focusing on the hands in the, in the pass protection and not the head or the shoulders. This allows us to strike, reset, and prepare for the secondary move of a blitzing second level player, either a linebacker or a safety. Now we're going to do a two pass protection set where our running back is going to set and block two blitzing linebackers. First, he's going to step up into the A or the B gap and block an, an inside rushing linebacker. After he makes a great punch there, he's going to slide to the outside and block an outside linebacker. Now obviously we wouldn't ask a guy to block two people on one play, but for the sake of stressing our technique and putting our play under pressure, this is a great drill to test our running back to make sure that they can handle this situation among some stress. So on the snap of the ball, he steps up into the inside gap. Feet come alive so as he prepares for the guy to give a little wiggle, make a move. Once the linebacker declares, great solid punch. You'll see the head is up and out of it, hands inside, striking on the rise, able to stop his charge. He quickly shuffles again to the outside, finds the outside backer who's blitzing, regains his low pad level position, loads his hands, punches, and on the second punch he's going to work to the outside to create a great pocket for our quarterback. Next player up. Our player's gonna come across, step into the inside gap. You'll see his feet come alive. He drops his hips into a great power position. And on this clip, you'll really see he brings those hands high to the chest just like an offensive lineman would. He's preparing to punch. He doesn't want to wind up, but he wants to load himself up. So he brings those thumbs nice and high into the armpits so he's ready to punch out and strike a decisive blow to stop the blitzing linebacker's charge. After the punch, he backpedals out of hole one, sets himself up on the outside edge for the linebacker, punch, shuffle, create that great pocket. We work hard to get to the gap, feet come alive, punch, stop the charge, punch, stop the charge, now we want to work the feet, work the feet, work the feet. The difference between those two blocks, obviously, is on the inside block when we're protected by our guard in our center, we're making a block in a small space. We're really working on punching and stopping the charge right there in line with our teammates. When we get to the outside is when the guys are focusing more on shuffling and creating your traditional pocket. A slightly different technique, but it's called for based on where the blitz is coming from, what's around me. We hope this progression can be helpful for you when introducing pass blocking to your young players. As you can see, our Miami Dolphins guys are doing this with no pads on just shields and helmets. This is a great way to introduce technique, whether in your off season, OTAs for the NFL guys, or early in the calendar year to get prepared for the rigors of preseason. Make sure your technique is sharp before you go into game situation.